Okay, we're driving very serenely in the Nissan Leaf. Now this uh, car recently went up in the UK, £2,000 to £25,990. The reason for that was because of the currency rates compared to the yen. But compared to the Mitsubishi IMF, it is a good investment because our main criticism of the IMF was the quality. The batteries on this, lithium ion, and they are mounted in the floor pan, they're not actually underneath the, the vehicle like in the IMF, so there's no interference with uh, with ground clearance. Batteries are, well, the EV components that is, we're guaranteed for five years or 60,000 miles. And from 2013, these cars, as well as the batteries, will be built in Sunderland, northeast of England. Top speed, let's say, of 90 miles per hour and to try to reassure you there is actually a display here on the, the sat nav that can tell you the actual range that the car can cover. The biggest issue with electric cars is range anxiety and this one have tried to lessen that by having the display which shows you the range here and also here it actually tells you how long it would take to fully charge it. And all these functions here will help alleviate the anxiety. If I press that for example, we've got these two circles here and the white one will show you the range in drive and then the grey wider circle will show you the range if you use the car in eco mode which uses less power from the battery. Nearby charging stations, we'll find that we've got a Tesco charging point 21 miles from here. And that was the biggest problem we had with the IMF, we didn't know where the next charging point was. I'll go back. I can update the stations if new ones are built. Charging timer, we can actually set a time for the charge charging to occur. Camera here when you uh, put the car in reverse. See this and leaf, there's no depletion of any boot space as you can see here it's very deep. But the lip is a little bit high. Temporary, doesn't it? And you've got that solar, you've got a solar panel here as well, look. Now because the batteries are mounted beneath the four pan, that does make you sit a bit higher up, so you can actually see over your front passengers. But there's plenty of headroom here, although a bit of lack of support on my legs here. Seat five people, unlike the Empera, like we were just in before. The configuration there, a little bit different but quite simplistic on the Nissan Leaf. So let's push it down. It is an easy car to drive, and it does feel well built. And even though it doesn't have the range extender like the Vauxhall Ampera, at least they have attempted with the functions on the display how to plan your route ahead.
turning is uh, good. There's no dip. It's quite nicely weighted. And it'll be interesting to see which companies offer warranties once the guarantee runs out for the electric vehicle components. I think it's a very good attempt.